Hello friends, this is Saturday, the second full week in Lent, and the title for our devotion today is The Vocal Chords of God. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Mark 2. Once we're in Mark 2, we're going to read verses 1 through 12 together, okay? That's what I truly hope, is that we will read these together. Now, I understand that some days, some moments just don't go exactly the way that we had planned. And so I do get that I might get to read this for the both of us today, and that's perfectly fine. So I'm either going to read this for you or with you in just a few moments. So press pause if you need to. Otherwise, let's now read Mark 2, 1 through 12 together. It says, And when he had returned to Capernaum, after some days, it was reported that he was at home. And many were gathered together so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them. Of course he was. And they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, They let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, of course they were, (laughs) questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus perceiving in his spirit that they thus questioned within themselves, said to them, why do you question these things in your hearts? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Why do you question these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, take up your bed and walk. But that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed and go home. And he rose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them all. So they were all amazed and glorified God saying, we have never seen anything like this. Wow, guys. Wow. Wowzy. Wow, wow, wow. There is so much that I want to sit and I want to camp on, but I am more curious what our author is going to tell us today. It says this, remember, it's the vocal cords of God. The scribes actually were right. Who can forgive sins but God alone? But they were dead wrong in assuming that the man who spoke to the paralytic could not forgive sins simply by what he said. Why does this man speak like that? Because that man, Jesus, was and is God. Forgiveness is the language of God his native tongue. Therefore, Jesus, the word of God in human flesh, speaks forgiveness. He could command the paralytic to get up and walk home with as little difficulty as he could speak sins forgiven. He has vocal cords for this very function, to speak sinners forgiven. From his first cry, when he emerged from his mother's womb, To his final cry on the cross, every sound of Jesus' voice was for this purpose, to forgive sins. After his resurrection, one of the first things Jesus did was breathe the Holy Spirit on his disciples and give them his voice. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. He said this in John 20, verse 23. His voice became theirs. His forgiveness became theirs to speak. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, by your authority over sin and death, speak us forgiven and deliver to us eternal life. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God for the vocal cords of Jesus. Oh my goodness gracious. So good. So, so good. I love you so much, my friends, and I will meet you right back here tomorrow. Bye.